In this video, we'll look at the equation for CuCl2 plus H2O. That's copper 2 chloride plus water. Copper, that's a metal, and then it's chlorine, that's a nonmetal. So this is going to be an ionic compound, and often ionic compounds will dissolve in water. We should check a solubility table just to make sure that this is soluble, that it will dissolve in water. So here's our solubility table, and these are the positive ions, the cations. So let's go down and find copper 2. And there's copper 2 right there. Then the anions, the negative ions across the top, looking for the chloride, Cl, there's Cl minus. So as we go down, Cl minus meets up right here. So here we have our copper 2 plus, our Cl minus. So it says S. That means it is soluble and it will dissolve in water. So let's go write the equation. So we have solid copper 2 chloride, let's put a little S down here, and then liquid water. So we put the solid copper 2 chloride in the water, it dissolves and it breaks apart or dissociates into its ions. So we have the copper 2 ion, that's Cu2 plus, and we have the chloride ion, Cl minus. But we have two here. This two means there's two chloride ions. So we need to put a coefficient of two in front of the Cl minus there. Next, because we dissolve this in water, we're going to write Aq after each ion. That Aq, that means aqueous or dissolved in water. And because we've written aqueous, we don't need to write the H2O again on this side of the equation. And with that, we're done. This is the equation for copper 2 chloride plus H2O. If we let this sit out for a while, the water would evaporate and it would return to our copper 2 chloride. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.